Welcome to Baby2K's YouTube channel. In our videos, we aim to show you the features and benefits of the products that we stock and promote in store. Today we're looking at the differences between the Bugaboo Chameleon and the Bugaboo Chameleon 3. Baby2K and our sister company Baby2000 are located in Copner Road in Portsmouth and we aim to give you the best prices and service in our industry. Why not give us a call today for a great quote? So the main difference is between the new Bugaboo Chameleon 3 compared to the old Chameleon. Um, the first one is obviously on the camera box. The old bumper bar used to just be one solid piece so you'd have to use both hands to depress the buttons and pull it out. The new one, you can now use it one handed and it will just pull out on one side and swivel round or you can take it out on both sides. So obviously that gives you a bit more freedom um, to get the little one in and out and obviously as with the old one your bumper bar comes off of this frame and goes onto the seat frame um, so obviously on the seat unit you will still have the same feature of that. So in the old Bugaboo Chameleon uh, carry cot you used to have these plastic parts at the end which used to hold the structure of the carry cot so you could take these out if you needed to fold it down um, to travel or to fold it in the boot. On the newer version because people used to lose the old plastic ones, they're now velcroed into the bottom and they're actually sewn into the fabric. So it means that you can still fold your carry cot down, but you're not going to lose this strap here. So that makes it nice and easy. Um, to take this off, it's again exactly the same as it used to be, just with two buttons down at the side. So onto the seat units. Um, on the old Bugaboo Chameleon, it used to have your slot holes and obviously as your child grew you had to move them up in stages. Um, whereas on the new one it's more like the new donkey um, seat unit and these will actually just slide up and down now. So much easier to adjust and obviously if your little one's got a big coat on one day, take it off the next day. You don't have to then re-thread all of your harness straps. You also have a slightly different harness on this one. They now kick in from the top. And it looks nice and sleek now as well, whereas the old one used to pick in from the sides and it just looks a bit more bulky. This one looks a lot more modern. Um, you've also got the footrest down at the bottom. This one was quite narrow, whereas this one here is now a bit wider. It just gives you a little one more room to put their feet in there. They're going to be nice and comfy. And with this one, obviously you've got the different colour liner on here, whereas on the Bugaboo Queen 3 you don't have the liner anymore. It's literally the, the colour that you pick as your base, it will now be just that colour on the back. So the main differences are on the actual chassis of the Bugaboo. Um, this is the older version here and this is obviously the newer one here. On the back, to release the rear wheels, you used to have like this paper clip kind of mechanism and they sorted out. It was a, a bit fiddly. So on the new one, you've now just got these white buttons on either side. You just press those in and that will pop out. You've also got on the handle, um, the brake on the old one used to be a three-click brake, so parents could sometimes get confused. Obviously, they didn't know if one click meant that the brake was on, and it didn't. You did have to still pull it forwards. The new one on here is simply just a one-click now, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, also, on your handlebars, the old one, you just used to lift it up and click it into place, and some people would find after a while these joints here would loosen, and this would just slide down of its own accord. So now you have the new handle which clicks as you move it up and down. So you just pick your position and click it into place. Also on the handle, the security straps. This one on the newer version is significantly smaller. Um, a lot of people found that with this one the older child would pull it or um, they just found it a bit of a pain, so some people even cut it off. But it is a safety feature, so they've made it shorter now. So onto the front of the chassis. Um, this is the older model again, with the newer version here. As you can probably see from the video, this basket is significantly smaller than this one. So the newer Chameleon has a bigger basket. As always, you've got your elasticated part, so you can put your stuff in there. You don't have to worry about when you fold it that it's all going to fly out. Uh, with the older model, to take the front wheels off, you used to have to pinch the top and your wheels would drop out. This one, again, you've just got the white button on the front. Press in and release that off. 
So the other main difference on the newer bugaboo to the older one, um, these parts of the frame are shiny plastic, whereas on the newer one, they look a lot more modern, a lot more sleek, and the whole chassis just tends to look a bit nicer. The fold on this one, you drop down to the floor, and then as you lift up, it locks in there. And then to unfold it, you have to lift up, lock the handle into place, and kick out on that front wheel. Now if I show you the newer one, this one again you just drop your handle down, the wheels will just fold up, and then to unfold it, it's now just a one handed unfold, so you just grab your handle, and that will just open up for you. So it's a lot easier, there's no more clips involved and no more kicking.